Um, my name's Anjali Parshottin, I teach English. The students um, have been studying uh, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. We're looking at the transformation of Scrooge and how he becomes a better person at the end. Um, and we thought it would be a nice way to kind of tie in the values of Grace Academy. So we were writing like, um, we were drawing pictures and we was like writing um, letters to the people and um, they're going to be sent to, um, on Christmas. Excellent. So we're, we're giving back, we're doing something um, that could be shown as a sign of respect, doing something I've talked a bit about like how we should all show some love at Christmas and how that nobody should feel down and that it's time to be with your families. So at that point I handed it over to Mr Miles um, and yeah he sent it over to the food bank uh, along with all the other um, tins that they had collected across the school and yeah thankfully we received a message back which was really nice. The kids, I think that was when the kids realised that we weren't just doing an activity in English but we were sending things way outside of the school realms which made them have a bit of a sense of pride I guess in their work which was lovely. It was really nice because they were showing us that they were great that it was great for us to send them letters and that they all felt a little bit better. My name is Beth and I work at ExoServe and I left Grace Academy in 2013. Year eight and nine I got involved in various different business projects and they kind of gave me that perspective of life outside of school when you're going through, you can't really see um, past year 11 because that's your goal to get to year 11 and get your GCSEs. But actually, they kind of pushed me to think a bit outside the box and go that little bit further. If I hadn't done things that perhaps weren't comfortable, then I wouldn't have got the skills that I have now, and it it became a lot easier and those those areas beca eventually became part of my comfort zone which enabled me to build on other things. So. Restorative justice is about allowing people the chance to put right any harm that they've done. If something happens and it results in a negative conclusion we would then hold a conference we all sit down in a circle and get the chance to say, you know, what happens, what have you learnt by it, what needs to happen to put this right. In the situation was a young boy um, that something could happen quite serious with another student. They felt powerless. I was having the mum ring me every day crying because she was so worried about her child being in school. So I decided to hold a conference between the students that had been involved. In that conference, the person that committed the harm said they were sorry and they got really upset. The other child, without any prompting from myself, said, thank you for saying sorry, I don't want you to cry, I don't want you to be this upset by what happened. They had the power back, they offered the forgiveness. Most importantly, I hope it makes our students more well-rounded individuals who are compassionate, who care about the person next to them and you know, who are generous of spirit and sometimes being generous of spirit means holding your hands up and saying I'm sorry, I was wrong and allowing them the chance to do that. We've done quite a lot, yeah. especially as friends as well. Mm -hmm. We've done Mischief, Misunderstood, Romance Academy. Having that club like made us realise that we all have a voice. I think it made us grow as a group as well because we all we all just let go of ourselves. Like, we yeah. let go of being so held back, yeah. started relaxing more and we got stronger as friends as well. Yeah. Not gonna lie, if I like didn't have any of these clubs or anything, or like if I didn't have any like you guys, then get big head. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have you guys, I don't know where I would have been because like, it was like really difficult because like I didn't want to express who I am because I thought like everyone would just judge me and I like I met people who were like similar to me like it doesn't matter how like people think about you. And yeah, we want to thank the teachers because yeah. if it wasn't for them, I don't think we'd have even yeah. taken interest in yeah. it. Yeah. Like it's just like, oh, why do I need this? <laughs> then you realise once you get into it, you're like, wow, there's more to life. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Um, I'm Varinda Minota, year 11, and I'm in the cadets. The reason why I started doing cadets is because I thought to myself, why should people like me have to miss out on something this good? And I was speaking to a few of my friends in the, in the cadets, and I was asking for advice on what I should join, and they were like, yeah, it would be really good for you. The challenges that I faced were can I can I do this with my physical being and can I do this knowing what I'm going into is going to be difficult but I proved myself wrong because I know I can do it and, and I've never looked back since. I now know I can achieve anything if I put my mind to it because I thought if I do something like this I probably won't be able to do it. But now I've proven to myself and other people like me who want, who want to do this that it can be done. So don't ever say that you can't because it can be done. When I came to Grace Academy, I mean, they have these, um, the core values. So when you're a student here and it's kind of implemented throughout the school, you become a product of those values. Like I was here for seven years. So for seven years, I've had these core values kind of integrated within myself and you become those values and because they are so brilliant and they are the foundations of real life, you go out to school and you still hold on to them. So you become the product of that. <laughs>